Forget those tired old lectures. Something fundamentally different is unfolding with the three atlas object. Avi Loeb is once again spearheading this pivotal moment. While others hesitated, bound by grant constraints and fear of professional risk, Loeb and his team forged ahead. Their recent discoveries are simply astonishing. The radio signal and molecular activity, for the first time ever, a radio signal was unambiguously detected from the object. This wasn't just background noise, but a distinct targeted absorption signal. The Mercat radio telescope in South Africa successfully detected the spectral ghost of hydroxide, the OH radical, essentially split water. This detection proves the object is thermally active, venting material, and reacting to the sun. It's not a cold, inert rock. It's alive in a physical sense. Detailed analysis shows these signals are absorption lines indicating a cloud of cold gas between the object and a warmer background source, perfectly consistent with molecules being released at the predicted temperature for its distance from the sun. The measured Doppler shift also flawlessly matches the object's velocity. This confirms the absorption is a real physical phenomenon. However, it doesn't resolve the core question, is this a natural comet or an artificial engine, unprecedented jet network and morphology. The story deepens with new images captured after the object's perihelion passage. Instead of a simple coma, the images reveal a complex, structured network of at least seven distinct branched jets. This is where speculation truly begins. The scientific consensus suggests localized sublimation, ice pockets releasing gas and dust, the natural explanation. However, as Loeb has argued for years, the technological hypothesis must remain on the table. What if these seven jets are not chaotic gas releases, but operational maneuvering thrusters used to correct its course after a gravitational slingshot around the star? The combined November 8th exposures clearly show a large, stable, glowing halo and the seven distinct jets, some of which are remarkably directed towards the stars not strictly away from the sun, as is typical for cometary tales. The mystery of non-gravitational acceleration. One of the most perplexing issues is the non-gravitational acceleration observed in its trajectory, which confirms forces acting on the object beyond the sun and planets. If this significant deviation were caused by standard gas ejection, like a typical comet, the object would have to lose approximately one-sixth, about 15%, of its total mass, an ejection of around 5 billion tons of material. Crucially, no corresponding massive cloud of debris and ejected material has been clearly detected. This presents a revolutionary dilemma. Either an unknown natural mechanism is causing acceleration without the expected mass loss, or we are observing artificial thrust generated without expelling vast quantities of working mass calls for transparency and future observation, Avi Loeb's deep disappointment is evident regarding the withholding of vital, high-resolution data. Images taken by the high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, in early October, potentially offering an unprecedented resolution of approximately 30 meters per pixel, remain unpublished. This delay is actively impeding rapid, effective scientific analysis and raises serious questions about transparency within official institutions. Loeb urgently calls for coordinated monitoring to observe how the non-gravitational acceleration changes as the object moves away from the sun. Furthermore, a unique opportunity exists on March 16, 2026, when three atlas will pass near Jupiter. The Juno probe, already stationed there, has a dipole antenna capable of listening for low-frequency technogenic noise, the hum of a running reactor or a communication channel that would be impossible to hear from Earth due to ionospheric interference. Not pointing Juno's antenna at the object at that moment would be criminal negligence against humanity's future. The object's origin trajectory is also intriguing as it arrived from a direction just nine degrees from the region of the sky where the famous 1977 WOW signal was detected. The philosophical threshold, we stand at a crossroads. Is this the strangest comet ever observed, or is it the first real contact? If the technological hypothesis is confirmed, it would be a Copernican-level shock to humanity. 
challenging not only astrophysics but also the core tenets of philosophy and religion. Eastern religions like Hinduism and Buddhism, with their vast cosmologies of countless worlds, may integrate this discovery more easily, viewing it as confirmation of existing texts, e.g. the Vaimana flying machines. However, the Abrahamic faiths face a profound theological test to their anthropocentric worldview, forcing a re-evaluation of divine revelation and the uniqueness of humanity. The unanswered message it may carry, whether scientific, philosophical, or religious, will be the greatest challenge of all. The mystery of three atlas compels us to act and listen carefully. We must be prepared for the latter option, as anything else is driven by fear and a refusal to acknowledge the obvious. Would you like me to elaborate on the difference between absorption and emission lines in radio astronomy, or find out more about the Juno probe's capabilities?